There you go. So you put it at 12 degrees? Yeah, we've done our best to get it to 12 degrees. Yeah. Um, which I think this wasn't originally designed to, to be do. like that. So it's um, fully crowded back. Yep. And, um, and maxed out on the uh, other adjustments on the front to get it close to 12 degrees. Cutting. Yep. Yep. And you're saying you're going, or Jake's saying you're going a little bit faster? Uh, yes, yes. No, we're, um, we seem to be, with a uh, 15 metre front, we seem to be getting a, a fair bit more speed, um, 13, even 14 k's an hour sometimes, depending on the, on the crop. Um, obviously, it's a bit lighter this year. Sure. But, uh, but um, yeah, we're, we're getting, I think, tonnes an hour, we're getting better than what we have done in the past, but this is a new machine, so yeah. yeah. Yep. Truly comparable. Yep. Okay. Okay. Anything else have you um, tried since the clinic? We've changed the um, to the large wire concaves all through. Yeah. So um, on the old one, we did trial some larger concaves on the back one or back two. And this year we put large wire concaves all the way through and haven't had a trouble with any of the uh, samples have been fine all the way through. From yeah, the, excellent. Lupins, canola. Um, oats, uh, barley, we seem to get a bit more capacity, I think, with barley this year, but it wasn't as bulky as what it was last year. So, yeah, different crop, um, eh? So it's a bit hard to totally compare, but um, yeah. we haven't had any problems um, thrashing everything out. So. Uh, and what about your sale? Well, Jake was saying you're using the bushel plus to check your losses. How's yeah. that? Yeah, really good, really good. Um, it was fantastic in the canola, obviously, because you just don't know. Um, so, And uh, we did make a few adjustments there make sure we weren't losing too much. What did um, you do, Ben? What was the sort of things you tried to do? Um, uh, the main thing is we, oh, I think we opened, we opened up the, um, uh, the sieves and... Um, You're listening to Martin. Yeah. <laughs> we did have them reasonably open. I've been trying to keep them as open as possible and actually they're over. What were you at? Um, oh, I can't remember. Front sieves? <laughs> Jake, you remember yeah, what got... the front sieves were? Andre. Yeah. Andre, um, the front sieve was the, the front sieve. Well, now on the um, now on the cereals are over. Yeah, I know they're meant to be eighteen. But I think we're up to twenty one or twenty two even. Yeah, um, and the, we've got the back set at fourteen four mil four yep. mil or less, is theoretically. Is yeah, the so yep. we have those the pre the um, preset ones at the back at fourteen, which is a lot more open. We had them at five last year or right. previous years. Yep, so, good. Um, yeah. What else have we? Um, oh, yeah. Well, just the just learning from the bushel class, you can see what um, see what actual losses you're getting. So we've been putting it off. Uh, yeah. yeah. We do a few, a few at a time. They're all very similar. There. Yeah. Good. How often are you doing it, Andre? I do two or three per per different change of crop. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then we've also got a uh, because we've got the mills on the back um, where. We're doing losses off the rotor to check first. Yep. Um, although we reckon we might be getting some of this stuff that's going through the mill yes. off the rotor loss because we're getting cracks, a lot of crack stuff. Okay. So, um, but there's not much <laughs> in there to find anyway. Yeah. Um, and we're doing that off the. the can't back. can't see as clearly what oh, what yeah, the quality is. Right. Less swearing. <laughs> <laughs> The we have the um, we've been dropping it off the back uh, just underneath the mill, mm. um, and also been dropping off the f uh, side of the um, of the header front. Yeah, the header front. Yeah, and uh, we've also we haven't done in the wheat yet. We in the canola we uh, put a uh, we lifted the mill and the, um, turned the uh, chopper off mm. and just dropped it all on the ground with a big um, rubber sheet. Uh, blocking everything, making sure it came down, and we t tested it that way to check both the, the rotor and sieve losses. So. Yeah, okay. Yep, which were very low.